Hey everyone, Will from All Electric back again with another video and today we are doing FSD beta testing 11.4.4. Just got a new software update. Here's what the software updates 2023.32.9 said, just minor fixes here. So we're going to uh, do another FSD beta test, no software update video for that because there's really nothing new and we're just going to jump right in. So you can see I'm already in drive, I'm buckled up of course and the steering wheel is illuminated. I'm pulled over here in a residential area and we are just gonna we have a navigation destination set turn on autopilot and it's gonna pull away from the curb now this is a 2023 model y only vision there is no radar no ultrasonics so purely vision here navigating around that curb that comes out full stop down to zero of course and making a right turn. Going through this residential area before we make another left turn like you can see here on the center display. Now, although it's just out of the frame, you can't see my hands, but I'm grabbing the bottom of the wheel. So if you are gonna do any sort of FSD beta testing, do as I do and as Tesla recommends and make sure you keep your hands on the wheel and be ready to take over at any moment. Looks like the light is about to turn green. It does turn green, and we're gonna make a left turn here. Choosing the left lane here, although we are making a right turn here in about a half a mile. No traffic around us, so it could get over right now. It is open less than a half a mile before a right turn. So we are turning right at the stoplight right up here. Still no indication that it is gonna get over. It actually is showing that it's gonna go left. So I'm gonna indicate the turn signal here and this is our turn, and it looks like it's going to miss the turn. So now it says stopping for traffic light, and now it just, <laughs> very funky there. It almost is like it fell asleep in the left lane. Some traffic behind us, but it does make a smooth right turn. So it almost is like it fell asleep in the left lane and almost forgot to turn like forgot where it was going but obviously you can see here that the navigation is set so it should be following that navigation so i hope tesla does improve that i know i've said in a video before that i think the navigation is definitely going to be the one that is lacking um, in terms of when we get to a driverless taxi or level four autonomy in the car i think that the navigation is going to be holding it back because the, we've yet to see the actual smart summon from Tesla yet, and I can only imagine what it's like without ultrasonics and um, other sensors navigating the parking lot because I know that it struggles. Um, it thinks I'm gonna hit the curb quite frequently. But let me know what you guys have experienced. If you have a hardware version four car, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And I'm also interested to see if you guys think that they've already wired, but they've yet to install on these hardware version four cars, a front camera, because that is definitely where the vision is lacking, where that front bumper is. It cannot see when you're pulling in and out of a parking space. Um, it just physically doesn't have the vision for it. Very easy stretch of road here for the FSD beta, passing a white on white Stormtrooper Model X right there. Now the car in front of us is gonna go in the right lane. We need to continue straight to follow the navigation. And it is choosing the correct lane, hugging this left side a bit over here but it did choose the correct lane. 
and it is stopping for a red light. So here we go, green light, and it looks like mid-intersection it's going to, well, it was about to change lanes over, but it decided to continue straight into this left lane that is merging down to a single lane. Really interesting, if you're ever wondering what the FSD beta or the autopilot is thinking, just keep your eye on that blue line and that's going to tell you where it's planning on going. Or it'll illuminate like a, it'll turn a traffic light, a biker or another car blue and it'll tell you that's what it's kind of yielding to or stopping for. Now choosing the right lane, we're back to two lanes here, and it is choosing the right lane. Very cool that that bike over here was showing up and is showing up very briefly on the center display even though it was on a path uh, on the side of the road. Very smooth here I do want to say. I think this is comparable to the last software update that we have. I think it's the same FSD beta version uh, 4.4 please correct me below in the comments if I'm wrong. So now you can see it's starting to slow down for a turn and I wanna see it turn on the turn signal right before it starts to slow down to let the drivers behind us know that we are gonna turn. But man, that couldn't be a smoother turn. The FSD beta is definitely getting very good at turning. Doing a really good job on these curvier roads here. Slowing down significantly for this curve. Transitioning over into this turn lane now. Pretty smooth there. The turn signal did come on at the appropriate time. Now it's waiting for oncoming traffic and it should follow behind this truck here. You can see the truck is blue and it does. A neighborhood road here, no lane markings, and doing a really good job staying on its side of the road. Previous software updates, we've saw, seen it go in the center of the uh, unmarked road, so really nice seeing that it's on this third of the road over here. All right, so there we have it. We have reached our destination, and overall, I think it did pretty well. So it's gonna stop in the middle of the road. I'm looking behind me, there's no traffic. So I can press the accelerator, and it will continue on. Oh, <laughs> I can press the accelerator. There it goes. Nope, it's gonna slow down again. Oh, there it goes. Well, there you have it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.